This guide shows you how to download and then install software to play DVDs on your computer. We'll then go through the steps of how to play a DVD on your computer once the software is installed. So first of all, open your browser of choice, whether it be Google Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer or Microsoft Edge. Once your browser is open, move to the box nearest the top of the screen, delete out whatever's in it and type www dot video lan dot org then press enter or return on your keyboard the video lan website will now load then move your mouse over download vlc and left click once it says your download will start in a few seconds and if you're using google chrome you will see the download appear at the bottom of the screen here once the figures disappear, this will mean that VLC has downloaded. There we go. And we just left click once on VLC. If we're using Firefox, it says you've chosen to open VLC, blah, blah, blah. Just move your mouse over save file and left click once. Then you'll see an arrow appear just up here. Left click the arrow and we can see how long it's got to download. And then once it says completed, left click the word VLC. If you're using Microsoft Edge, it says, what do you want to do with VLC? So uh, we left click save. And once it says finish downloading, move your mouse over run and left click once. And if you're using Internet Explorer, it says, do you want to run or save? Move your mouse over the word save and left click once. And once it says download has completed, move your mouse over run and left click once. Now, from whatever browser you've downloaded, it should say, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Move your mouse over yes and left click once. It says, please select a language. So select your language from this list. Then move your mouse over OK and left click once. Move your mouse over next and left click once. Move your mouse again over next and left click once. And here it asks us to uh, select the components that we need. Now, if you just want to use this as a DVD player, we can untick web plugins, scroll down, leave disks playback ticked, unticked file type associations. So you might have to click that twice. And untick context menus. Okay, so we should have start menu ticked, desktop menu, desktop shortcut ticked, disks playback ticked, and everything else unticked. Move your mouse over next and left click once. Move your mouse over install and left click once. VLC player will now start installing. This might take a couple of minutes and it might look as though it's frozen at times, but please leave it and we'll come back to this video once it's installed. VLC is now installed. So move your mouse over finish and left click once. If your browser's still open, you can still see this page here, downloading VLC. Then move your mouse over the cross in the top right hand corner of the screen here and left click once. Okay, so VLC is now open. So move your mouse over continue and left click once. Once VLC player is opened, we can put our disk in the disk drive of our computer or laptop. Wait a few seconds for the disk to be recognised. Please be aware it can take sort of 20, 30 seconds for a DVD to be recognised. And there we go. It tells us there in Windows 10 that it's uh, the disk has been inserted. Select what happens. But we can ignore that. All we do is we just move our mouse over media, just up here, left click once, and then move, move your mouse down to open disk and left click once then move your mouse over play and again left click once. The DVD will start playing, okay? If you want it to go full screen, just double left click anywhere on the screen and it becomes full screen. And if you want to, uh, uh, to take it back out of full screen, just double left click anywhere on the screen again. We can stop the movie by clicking on the stop button just down here or clicking on the cross just up in the top right hand corner of the screen. And there we go, that guide shows you how to download and install VLC Media Player and play DVDs on your computer. Hope this guide helps. Thanks for watching.